Hi, and welcome to another Learn DaVinci Resolve. And in this one, we're going to show how to do a focus pull in software. Instead of being able to get your camera to move in and move out and get your focus pulling right, maybe you don't have the equipment or it's, it's too hard to use, we can kind of fake it with DaVinci Resolve. And that's what we're gonna do. So here's the clip I have, and we just really wanna kind of focus on uh, this uh, connection here. So let's go ahead and play this, and we'll see that it's, it's just a static shot. You can see it's video, because you can see kind of some move, the, the light change in the background there a little bit. So this is a video clip, but it was just on a tripod. So let's see what we can do with making this look um, a little cooler, right? So we're gonna go to our color tab and we're just gonna drag the lens blur, blur, <laughs> lens blur tool to our node. And instantly we kind of have a blur effect. Now in the options over here, we have uh, the shape. So we can choose real apertures, creative apertures, uh, external input, uh, under creative, we have hearts and stars and starfish, and starburst. You know, I like to just use real apertures. And how many, uh, what kind of aperture shape do we want? So uh, typically it's going to be like a hexagon, heptagon, or octagon. So I'm going to choose octagon there. And now we have some really amazing options here in what do we want that to look like. I don't really need to, to play with this too much. You can play with it to your heart's content and see what the different options can do. And we have some speed options, full, half, and quarter. Uh, I'm not too worried about that. I'm just going to uh, keyframe two points, uh, just a blur point into a focus point. So if I take my blur size, Let's move it up. So right there. So now it looks pretty darn blurry. And I'm going to hit this diamond next to it. That's going to signify that I'm starting a keyframe. Now I, here's my entire timeline here. And I do want it to be in focus for a while at the end. So I'm going to put it there. And I'm going to set this blur size to zero. Make it really in focus. All right, now we should be able to play this back. And it moves it into focus and then holds on that spot. So pretty simple, nothing uh, too complicated here. Of course, you could reverse that and fade out, fade in. Um, you know, you, you're obviously it's gonna not work too well if you're trying to go from a foreground to a background, that's not gonna work. But doing something like a product shot uh, food, something like that, where you want to have the focus pull effect can be pretty effective just doing it in software. So that's a quick tip from Learn DaVinci Resolve. Hope you enjoyed it. We will catch you next time. Be sure and like this video, click on that subscribe, and make sure you click that bell icon so you get notified whenever we put out a new video. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.